shell in the building. Two thirty, baby, won't you meet me by the beam? Two early, baby, later you can show me things. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I'll be showing you my design process. So stay tuned. On today's video, I'll be showing you the first step, which is sketching. This is just how I like doing it. I'll keep it super simple, super chill. This is a vibe. Enjoy, enjoy the art process. So I've drawn 10 horizontal lines at intervals of 1 inch and labeled with the corresponding numbers. The first step is to draw a vertical line. This will represent the center line. Then between line 1 and 2 we have the head. I drew an oval shape for that. Between line 2 and 3 we have the shoulder and it's about a quarter an inch from line 2. At line 4 we have the waist. So draw the waist as narrow or as wide as you want. Join the shoulder line to the waist and now we have a trapezium looking figure. At line 5 we have the hips. Draw the hips for your figure and join it to the waist. And you will have your torso. So from here we'll draw the knees and the ankles. I usually draw circles to represent the knee joints and the ankles. And then I'll connect the hips to the knees and the knees to the ankles and we have our legs. I usually draw a triangle to represent the neck. Then let's go back to finishing our legs. To draw the feet, draw one straight line in the inner end and at the outer end draw a slightly inclined one and connect the lines with a pointed end to represent the toes. Do the same for the other side and you have your feet. Complete the upper part of the body will be drawing the arms. So draw two circles at the edge of the shoulder line and at the waist is where we have our elbows. Draw an elbow joint and at the hips is where we have the wrist. So draw circles on both sides and join the circles together to have our arms. Now between line 5 and 6 is where we have the palm of the hands and it usually covers about two thirds of the space. So draw a trapezium looking like figure and do the same for the other end. The lines have helped with the placement of different body parts and now we have our figure that looks roughly like a robot. Now we have to flesh it out and what I usually do I draw ovals within the lines that we've already drawn. It's okay if it spills out. So do the same for the thighs and the arms and also between the knees and ankles to represent the shin and the calves. Have fun with it. You can go wider or even narrower depending on what you're trying to achieve. Now for the palm, the longer end represents the four fingers and the shorter end represents the thumb. Do the same for the other side and you will have your arms complete and your figure complete. Now, if you're sketching along and you've reached this point, congratulations! You are now ready to advance to a more dynamic pose. Now for this one, we'll do the same process. Draw the head between line 1 and 2. Now for the shoulder line, we'll draw it at an angle, slightly sloping. And we'll do the same for the waist. Our waist will slope in the opposite direction to the shoulder line. So remember you can draw it as wide or as narrow as you want. Feel, feel free to explore. Now our hip line will also slope in the same direction as our waist. So draw your hip line and then connect the shoulder line to the waistline and the waistline to the hip line and we'll have our torso. 
draw your neck and then let's move to the lower portion of the body so draw your left knee joint very closely to the center line and, and the second knee joint draw half a circle touching the center line the knee draw it at the center line to maintain the center of gravity now connect the circles together like we did on the previous pose to have your legs we will see the whole of the leg that's forward and a part of the leg that's behind sketch out your foot and the other leg which is hidden behind the left leg our figure's weight has shifted to the left and part of an arm will be hidden behind the hips now Draw the joints for the arms, the shoulder joint at the edge of the shoulder line, the elbow at the waist, and do the same for the other side, having the elbow at the waist and the wrist at the hip level. Then connect all the circles together to have your arm and you're almost done with the figure. Now we'll flesh out the figure to make it more realistic and less like a robot. And we'll have our figure complete with a more dynamic pose. So you can practice more poses using reference photos to gain a better understanding of the human anatomy. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be teaching you more poses in the future. So stay tuned. Tired. A lot of people trying to take us viral I'm just trying to have a nice night The waiter brought a check for the meal She said, babe, I think there was a typo Nah, girl, I got it, that's life Yo, I can show you bigger things than that It's gonna be a minute till I'm back So at this point, you can add more details Practice more and this will become like muscle memory And you won't have to draw the shapes to guide you thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed like share and subscribe i'll see you all on my next video to the club for the party you go in first